Hi, I'm Oliver. I'm a lead architect for Pony Images Apps, a Yolkos brand. And for this year's Code Geist, we did an app called Magic Labels. And this actually goes back to to a need uh, that our consultancy had, uh, a way to, to use labels and confluence much smoother, easier and better than was currently possible. And um, well, they had asked us for quite some time, but they really happened to need it at the time Coke ties came around and we took that as an opportunity to build magic labels on Atlassian Forge. And magic labels really makes it magical to work with labels. Um, just to label a page, you just highlight a word you find on the page and uh, turn it into a label just like that. To add a label to multiple pages, you can just use the context menu, put that label on that page and all its subpages, or remove it, or rename it if you've misspelled a label, which trust me, happens to me a lot. And you also can do that space-wide and you have, and this is the real magic, the opportunity to set up rules um, that allow you to blacklist labels that you don't want to use or to have child pages, newly created pages, inherent the labels of your parent pages. But that's just me talking about features. What's really cool is, is how Lars and his team used magic labels and confluence to actually organize or move into this new office. Ah, hello from Hamburg, hello from Yodokus and our new office. It's brand new and uh, actually I would like to talk how we moved in and how we planned everything. So we are a couple of consultants here and we got the option to decide how it has to look like, what we need, what we want to use and actually all the other equipment. So like power supply, cables, monitor, couches, a lot of couches, tables, refrigerator, espresso machine. So how did we do this? Uh, we set up a floor plan and talked a lot about it and then we decided we make lists of the furnitures we want to put in every room. Like you can see here that we have like an inventory in a layover where we click on and then you get a design of, an, of a room and then also we have to put the furniture in. But how do we do this? At first we thought about uh, setting up a table for every room and then we realized we want to use different tables, monitors, couches in every room again and again. So we came up with the idea of share page. We created the page, got a nice preview of all the furniture and equipment. We put on like some property reports with the amount of items and also is it ordered or is it we are still waiting for it. Um, so after we did this, um, we realized, wow, that's a lot of work and how we connect them now to the different rooms. Uh, and we came up with the idea of labels so we use property reports content table reports a lot with a lot of labels and this was really a lot of work so our developer team from kiel had up the idea of magic label or the concept of like we have a parent page and we we follow up through and say okay i want this page gets the label hamburg or sorry let's say Brandsende, because we don't know if it's the last office we create here. And uh, we will add them to every single page. And so we know that the furniture belongs to this office and we don't have to redo this over and over again. So we successfully added. Also, we created for the furniture, we created different lists because like we are our back office in Düsseldorf ordered everything and they said, no, I'm not going through every single room. So. We said, okay, we did it once and only once and we had another label and uh, put the brand into the page. For example, like here, like here. And so we did it only once. We used it here in the context menu and said, add as a label and we get for the furniture, the page. And here what you see, this is a shopping list for our back office of Ikea for the whole office. And then also we we'll see with all the chairs we ordered and for the monitors, what kind of monitors and how many. So yeah, we had the list on the top of the page. We got a room definition and also let me show you really quick the result here in room number five. We are sitting right now in room number five. You see the sketch and you see the list of items. That's it. Thank you.